so methods of preventing rusting of iron how we can prevent iron from rusting we can paint that can be done we can uh, put grease or oil we can electroplate or we can galvanize but why galvanizing will be more effective as compared to electroplating example because in electroplating we use a more less reactive metal but in galvanizing we cover the iron with more reactive metal than iron and normally it is zinc so <clears throat> example you have two pieces of iron same size and one you galvanize galvanize means covered with more reactive metal such as zinc and the other one you electroplated electroplating means that cover with less reactive metal and this is a reactivity series of the metal we have uh, potassium the reactivity series uh, potassium sodium calcium magnesium aluminium zinc iron lead copper mercury silver gold and platinum so this is the position of iron zinc is above zinc is above iron and copper is below iron in the reactivity now for example you are using these objects in which one is galvanized another one is electroplated so as you are using the object the layer is removed some parts the layer of zinc because as you use an object the layers can be peel off or tear off so a layer is removed from the surface and you are using this object which is was electroplated and the layer is also removed now iron is exposed to the surrounding this fe iron is exposed to the surrounding and in the surrounding because we have uh, what oxygen air is there and oxygen is also means oxygen is there and water vapors are there so which one you think iron will rust the one which was electroplated or galvanized another one is electroplated so basically what happen in this because zinc is more reactive than iron so which one will react like now the layer is removed even though the layer is removed but i an iron is exposed to the surrounding iron is exposed to oxygen and water vapors but still iron will not rust why the iron will not rust because zinc is more reactive than iron so instead of oxygen and water reacting with iron they will react with zinc so even though iron is exposed but iron will not rust why iron will not rust because zinc is more reactive than iron so zinc will react instead of iron so it will prevent iron from rusting even though the layer is removed slightly or iron is exposed but what happened here 
because the, in terms of reactivity, iron is more reactive. You can see when you check the reactivity, iron is more reactive than copper. So iron will react with oxygen and water vapor and copper will not react because copper is less reactive. So in this case, what happened, we will see a red brown layer will form once the electroplated metal is removed from the surface. Is it clear? This why when iron is covered with a more reactive metal, it does not rust, even though the layer of that more reactive metal is removed. But when it reacted, uh, when it is electroplated with less reactive metal, if the layer of that metal is removed from the surface, the iron will start to rust. Is it clear? So, but this question you will find a four mark question you will find in exam. So how you write the answer, I will tell how to write the answer for this type of question. Like iron, if the layer of iron is, a layer of zinc is removed from the iron surface, still the iron does not rust. Why? So, So reason why the iron will not rust, first mark, because it's a four mark. So first mark, you will mention zinc is more reactive. than iron. And what is the meaning of more reactive than iron? It means zinc can lose electron easily compared to iron and oxidized. So zinc is more reactive than iron. So zinc can lose electron more easily compared to iron and oxidized. So when iron is exposed to surrounding, it is, it does not lose electron because of zinc, which prevent iron from rusting. So basically for rusting of iron to occur, iron should lose electron. But in this case, iron is not able to lose electron because zinc is there, which is a more reactive metal, which can lose electron easily. That's why it prevent iron from rusting even though the layer of zinc is removed from the surface. Is it clear this part? How electroplating, how galvanizing preventing iron from rusting even though the layer of uh, zinc is removed from the surface.
Any doubt in this part? And the last method to prevent iron from uh, rusting, we call that as sacrificial protection. From the name, you can understand this sacrificial protection means one element sacrifice for other. That's called sacrificial protection. So what we do in sacrificial protection, we place more reactive metal or we attach. Here we don't plate the full uh, iron. We just attach more reactive metal to iron structure. So more reactive metal metal react first and sacrifice for iron. That's why we call it sacrificial protection. Like example, you have a large structure which is made up of iron. So what we do, this large structure, which is made up of iron. So we put any more reactive metal example, we put a magnesium strip. So when we check the reactivity, we have uh, potassium, sodium, calcium, aluminum, zinc, iron, lead, uh, here, calcium, magnesium, aluminium, zinc, iron, lead. So you can see iron is here. Potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium, zinc, iron. So iron is here and we use more reactive metal, magnesium. So what will happen, how this iron will not rust, how this magnesium, a piece of magnesium will prevent iron from rusting. As you can see, Iron is less reactive than magnesium. And for rusting of iron to occur, iron should lose electron. But what happened? Magnesium is more reactive. So magnesium will lose electron or magnesium will oxidize instead of iron. So it will prevent iron from rusting. That's we call as a sacrificial protection. So magnesium sacrifice for iron. So the difference between sacrificial protection and galvanizing in galvanizing, we completely coating the iron with more reactive metal, zinc. But in sacrificial protection, we are not coating it. We just place a strip, a small strip of more reactive metal on the surface of iron so that it will react instead of iron. Is it clear, the sacrificial protection? We attach this, ob this piece of magnesium with a large structure, any structure which is made up of iron, like underground pipelines. It can be used for uh, ship hulks. Yes, it has to be replaced. Uh, that's true. If you are using a more reactive metal, you have to replace. And uh, covering with a more reactive metal increases the cost. That's why you will find electroplating common rather than galvanizing. If you want to prevent iron from rusting, we cover this iron with magnesium, more reactive metal. And we call that sacrificial protection. Basically what happened, magnesium sacrifice for iron. That's why we call this as 
sacrificial protection now i want you to solve some questions related to this electroplating part mainly mcqs just a similar question underwater steel pipes can be protected from corrosion by attaching a magnesium block to them which equation represent the reaction that prevent the corrosion basically how it prevent corrosion magnesium is more reactive so magnesium loses electron first so which one is representing the correct in d magnesium is gaining electron Mag magnesium is more reactive metal so it should lose electron in d magnesium gain electron but when you check the structure like here what happen for rusting of iron to occur iron want to lose its electron magnesium want to lose its electron as well but which one lose electron first magnesium will lose electron first because it is more reactive metal so the equation which prevent iron from rusting is magnesium loses its electron and change to magnesium ion first so c is the right answer not d it's c because in c it is losing electron but in d it is gaining electron which method prevent iron from rusting because magnesium loses electron so iron is not able to lose electron for rusting to occur iron must lose its electrons as well is it clear why the answer is c you can see here in the question uh, the boards made from a steel can be protected from rusting by attaching a block which is more reactive to the hulk of the board so you can see the hulk of the board is there and a block of more reactive metal is placed lot of strips are there which statement is correct Yeah, that's right. C is the correct answer. Copper is used. Copper is not because it does not react with. If you use a copper, copper is unreactive. So, but we want to protect this from rusting. So, this is not the right answer. Magnesium is not used because it is reacted with steel. So, that's wrong. We use any more reactive metal. The metal used for the block loses electron more easily than steel. So, if it can lose electron easily, it can react, and the steel will not react. So, rusting will not. Occur. This form of protection of rusting is called galvanizing. We don't call galvanizing is like completely coating it with a more reactive metal. This is called sacrificial protection. Question twenty. What could be the answer? X screwed with air and water, so X is iron. 
and x can be protected from corrosion by attaching a block of element y you are correct b is the right answer this is not called galvanizing x form positive ion more readily or quickly as compared to y uh, sorry y forms uh, more readily compared to x that's true y is unreactive that's not true y is unreactive non metal that's also incorrect what does it mean like y is unreactive metal unreactive metal means least reactive metal so for example if a, if you have oil pipeline made up of iron so these are the oil pipelines made up of <coughs> made up of iron and you attach a more reactive block say why so this why should be more reactive so it can react means quickly or y is more reactive when we say y forms positive ion more readily than, than x it means y is more reactive than x like both of them are metals because metal tend to lose electron but which one can lose electron first so which of which one of them can lose electron first that shows it is more reactive metal because uh, we use magnesium here normally so magnesium is more reactive that's and why we use magnesium because it is more reactive four iron nails had different metals wrapped around them the nails are placed in open dish for with water and left for week which iron nail has no protection against the rust means which which iron nail will rust that's a question which of the iron nail will rust keep in mind the reactivity so if you understand the reactivity you can answer this yeah that's correct b is the right answer because copper is less reactive so iron uh, the oxygen iron can lose electron and can react with oxygen and water but here aluminum will react which is more reactive zinc will react more reactive magnesium will react but in this case iron is more reactive so it will react and rusting will occur sir yes sir if the more reactive metals are like uh, of course they are Uh, they are they help the iron nail be resistant to rust but yeah right when they react they form they themselves form these oxides right they form oxide but the thing is they the oxide layer which is form on these more reactive metal some of them are protective oxide layer or some of the oxide when they react maybe the layer is removed from the metal oxide for some metals but the thing is that like for magnesium react with oxygen form white magnesium oxide that's why the layer of a magnesium will turn white so when you scratch that the magnesium layer peel off so but the thing is we want to prevent iron from rusting so iron is prevented from rusting the more reactive metal yes they are reacting so we have to replace them if the layer is removed like isn't it like better if we just completely cover it with unreactive copper so yeah, it that is. it won't react yeah. and We're yeah, they, aware, but... yeah that's why electroplating that's why we use electroplating normally and even it's relatively cheap because when you have a more reactive metal there are different different methods like we use electrolysis to extract the more reactive metal so first thing to extract the more reactive metal the cost is too much then you put only to protect the iron from rusting or you want to prevent iron from rusting so that's not the thing so practically we use electroplating com means commonly electroplating is done but this is a method theoretical method which can also be done to prevent iron from rusting okay sir thank you
Uh, question 33, what could be the answer? Anhydrous uh, calcium chloride is a drying agent. Drying agent means it has tendency to remove the moisture. So which prediction, which iron nail is contain water and air that will rust. This contain, a, so remove air, so there is no oxygen, this will not rust. And dry air, so it contain oxygen, but no water vapor, it will not rust. So all the three predictions are correct. So this is about the rusting of iron. 